mission karma yogi under mission karma yogi center states and the union territories are making and implementing capacity building plans for civil servants the government has also launched an integrated online training pro platform i got karma yogi to provide continuous learning opportunities for lakhs of government employees to upgrade their skills and facilitate people centric approach sir for enhancing ease of doing business more than 39000 compliance more than 39000 compliances have been reduced and more than 3400 legal provisions have been decriminalized for furthering the trust based governance we have introduced the jan vishwas bill to amend 42 central acts this budget proposes a series of measures to unleash the potential of our economy centers of excellence for artificial intelligence for realizing the vision of make ai in india and make ai work for india three centers of excellence for artificial intelligence will be set up in top educational institutions leading industry players will partner in conducting interdisciplinary research develop cutting edge applications and scalable problem solutions in the areas of agriculture health and sustainable cities this will galvanize an effective ai ecosystem and nurture quality human resources in the field national data governance policy to unleash innovation and research by startups and academia a national governance data governance policy will be brought out this will enable access to anonymized data the kyc process will be simplified adopting a risk based instant instead of one size fits all approach the financial sector regulators will also be encouraged to have a kyc system fully amenable to meet the needs of digital india one stop solution for identity and address address updating a one stop solution for reconciliation and updating of identity and address of individuals maintained by various government agencies regulators and regulated entities will be established using digi locker uh, digi locker service and aadhar as foundational identity speaker sir common business identifier for the business establishments required to have a permanent account number the pan will be used as the common identifier for all digital systems of specified government agencies this will bring ease of doing business and it will be facilitated through a legal mandate for obviating the need for separate submission of same information to different government agencies a system of unified filing process will be set up such filing of information or return in simplified forms on a common portal will be shared with other agencies as per the filer's choice vivad se vishwas one relief for msmes in cases of failure by msmes to execute contracts during the covid period 95% of the forfeited amount relating to the bid or performance security will be returned to them by government and government undertakings this will provide this will provide relief to the msmes 